Hi everyone, welcome back to Melody Christina. Today I'm going to show you a haul. I went to Joann's and I and I picked up a little kitty. Anyway, this is Oliver. Uh, we got him yesterday. And ow, 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 ow. he is just getting used to his surroundings. <laughs> so today I went to Joann's and I picked up a few skeins of yarn for a project I'm working on. You can see it in the background a little bit, but I'll show you. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I'm working on. So what did I buy? Joann's is having their, uh, one of their clearance big doorbuster weekends because it's the 4th of July weekend. Um, and then I found some that had like, uh, 25% off, like extra off of their clearance deals. And I found a couple of skeins for that too. Plus a big bag of polyfill. I got this giant bag of polyfill and I am extremely excited about it. So it's the ultra plush polyfill. Um, and it's the ultimate fiber fill for super soft, huggable toys and crafts. So, I'm excited about it. But anyway, um, because I had just used up all of my polyfill for that, that project up there. Okay, so the yarn that I got today, well, I'll throw in what I got yesterday too. Um, so yesterday I went and I picked up this skein of yarn and it was $3.97 on clearance, but they had an extra, uh, 25% off. So it ended up being only $3 for it. So I thought it would be really nice to make some pumpkins out of. Um, and I have some orange yarn in this exact same, um, same kind and I really think that it would make some really good pumpkins so I'm gonna do that and then this I I know I've showed you this before this is the um, Walmart something or another I got it at Walmart um, I don't remember what it's called exactly um, but joyful I think it's called joyful and I kind of think it would make a cute pumpkin too. So like this with the orange and the white, I think it would be kind of cute. So we'll see how that those projects end up going pretty soon. Okay, so today, um, show you my most favorite last, <laughs> but this, it's scarfy. I need to rewind it because it's all kind of crazy right now, but, um, yeah, I did find the center pool, and that's always the most important anyway. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do with it. I'll probably make a big scarf, maybe if it's big enough, a scarf with the pockets and stuff, because I really like those. We'll see how how it goes. Um, but yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. And with it being $5.97 with another 25% off, I couldn't pass it up. So then I got this one as well, and this was on clearance for $6.97 plus the 25% off of this. And this is Bernat Blanket in Teal Twist. Um, and I started working with it, and I did notice that it is three strands of really thin blanket yarn, um, and it's just all twisted together. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make with it. I might try making a blanket for the kitten. Um, I could not find the center pool on this. <laughs> so yeah, I might try to make a blanket for him. Um, and then of course I'll have to make one for the other cat too, because him and Johnny they actually love each other 
It's really cute. Johnny, or our tuxedo cat, has been um, just snuggling him all day. So Burnett Baby Blanket came out with a new type, new color set, series, whatever, of um, blanket yarn. And it's frosting. And this one is Lilac Lounge. And it's so pretty. <laughs> Um, the camera isn't going to pick it up. Actually, it isn't doing a horrible job of picking up these colors. It's really, really pretty. Um, I might make a baby blanket out of this one too. And then this one is my absolute favorite and it's the same. It's the Burnout Blanket Frosting. But this one is in the color Seaside. And it has all of these greens and blues and um, it's like a teal, a soft sky blue, a darker blue and green. And it's really pretty. And I'm using this with my project that I'll show you right, right now. Um, and I think I forgot to tell you what the name of this one is called. It's Cream and Black, and it's the Lion Brand Scarfy. Um, and it's a white five. And I think it's all acrylic. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this is 78% acrylic and 22% wool. And it's made in Turkey. So yeah, that's completely different than what I thought but it's pretty and I don't know. I have never worked with wool before, so it will be interesting um, to see if my skin can handle it. And if you like videos like these, please don't forget to like and subscribe and down in the comments, let me know um, what your most recent haul was and what you plan on doing with it. So that was my haul. Um, Oh, let me show you why I had to go to Joanne's to pick up some yarn. So this is a fun little project I'm working on and I'll go into more detail of it later, but isn't it cute? <laughs> it's an octopus. Um, all right, so that was the haul that I did today and one skein from yesterday. Um, and it's for the project that I just showed you and I'll keep you posted on what the project ends up um, looking like at the end. So I'm almost done. I just have the final tentacles to do and um, I need to buy some eyes for it too. But I do like how it's turning out. And <laughs> I guess I did um, do a couple more hauls, not hauls, but I bought two more things and it was uh, a couple of patterns and it was Bloom the Octopus or no, Bloom Jellyfish and Mabel Chicken and these are by Oak and Marlowe um, and they're super cute um, projects that I'm excited to work on next. So pretty soon anyway I can't do everything next um, so yeah the verse for today Matthew 5 verse 11 um, and it's blessed are you when they rival and persecute you and say all kinds of evil things against you falsely for my sake and verse 12, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Um, I think verse 11 and 12 kind of go hand in hand. Um, so I'm going to read verses 3 through 12 again. And it's, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. 
Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when they rival or revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Okay, so that wraps up all of the Beatitudes of the Sermon on the Mount. Um, and uh, if you have any prayer requests or want to chat about anything, please uh, leave me a comment down below or send me an email. All of my contact information is in the description below. So I hope you all have a great day and we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Kitty?